where would you say you're at in this single life? 10, you good, you ain't even thinking about marriage. One is, oh no, I'm, 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 I'm done. Anyone can go. I mean, I think it's almost an unfair question because are yeah. you done or are you ready? Yeah. You got to answer the question. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since my last dating relationship? Yeah, since your last dating. Well, I'm kind of in the middle of one, so I have been single for 10 years. Oh my gosh. I've been single for about four and a half, five years now. <laughs> Y'all are going deep with this stuff. Um, golly. I've been single for my whole life because I've never been married. <laughs> Does that count? If there's one thing I want to talk about in this conversation is definitely the double standards. People's intentions, because I think a misunderstanding that happens a lot between single men and single women is why they do what they do. The perceived roles between how men see relationships versus how women. <laughs> I can't say this. I can't say this. I don't think there's anything I don't want to talk about. Yeah, I'm in for wherever the conversation goes. If there's one thing I don't want to talk about in this conversation tonight, it's past relationships. Actually, I'm not nervous about anything tonight. Not nervous? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous about something. I think that Anthony's kind of cute. <laughs> On a scale one to 10, 10, I am happy. I don't want it. I, I'm not even thinking about marriage right now. I'm just great where I am. One is, you know, I'm not. I'm ready. I, I think I'm at a seven. No, I know I'm at a seven. I'm gonna tell you why I'm at a seven. Okay. I'm only 23 years of age. Yeah. I got the world in front of me. Yeah, yeah. All right. I would love to, you know, share that with someone, but not yet. That's why I'm at a seven. I feel like me going through our life, you know, trying to find purpose mm -hmm. is more important for me, and then that woman to just be along that path that God has already built. So you gotta patiently wait. So that's what I'm doing. Love it, he's at a seven, anybody else? You, you say you had a seven too? I'm at a seven for the simple fact of, I'm 35. Mm. And it's one of those things where, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Ooh, I'm gonna go back this way. Like, I'm at that point now where I'm in my purpose. And it's like, when you going towards your purpose, man, it just feels right. So I don't know whether I'm, I mean, right now I'm good. Mm. I like living alone, you know, mm. cleaning up when I want to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like it. Please I, I, mean, I really do. <laughs> and, but, but it's one of those things where it's like, if, if I know I'm walking on my purpose and everything from jobs and all this stuff is falling in place, who's to say God ain't gonna just drop her and punch me in the face and next thing I know, all right, I guess I'll get married today because you know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man said, I like, guess. Like, you know it. <laughs> I mean, okay. So that's why I'm saying the seven. Like I'm good, but if that perfect person drops in, because at 35, you kind of got an idea of what you want to tolerate. I will hope. Yeah, you know true. what I'm saying? What you want to tolerate? Ooh. My lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was funny when Judah said he was trying to figure out what he could tolerate, and and his partner who he ends up with and his wife. I just thought, man, that's such a funny word to use. It's been so interesting to listen to the men talk about stepping into that relationship. I don't know that I'd ever thought of that word of the man I'm looking for is who I can tolerate. <laughs> okay. I, think I, I think I get it now. <laughs> oh, my oh man, that's gosh. funny. That's hilarious, bro. I like that one. <laughs> Ladies, where y'all at? Mm. I do think it's a loaded question because I'm at a 10. I love my life. I love what I do. I'm so content. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. And I want to be married. Like, I don't think those have to be mutually exclusive. Right. I'm very content. But of course I would like to be married. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm looking for you're happy. Ooh. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Are you happy in your life as it is now? Or do you think someone accompanying you will make it that much better? I just think to answer something like that just strictly on a number thing, I think, again, it can be misinterpreted. I think you can't, I am happy. Okay. I think happiness is overrated. Ooh. I think joy is much more important because Ooh. joy, you still <laughs> have even if your circumstances change. Yep. Okay. So I'm joyful, okay. absolutely. Because happiness okay. is like this. Mm -hmm. I take that. I like that. Yeah. I, I, I can rock with that. Yeah. 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 I still think she ain't a 10, but I can <laughs> rock with that. Why you think I'm a 10? <laughs> Here's what I can tell about Anthony, or what I think I can tell by Anthony. He likes the facts. He likes data, as you would say. And I'm all for that. I love having the facts as well. However, I do want to be married, and I know that 
a husband will add a lot to my life in the same that any relationship can add a lot to my life. So yes, I'm a 10 and then I'm content and I would still like to be married. Mo. I'm gonna say a seven. Okay. I'm not at 10 yet. Okay. Um, I'm Yet. I feel like a 10 is complete contentment. I am at a place where I'm almost content, but it's that the, the desire sometimes is, it, it overrides my contentment. Mm. So, but then the other thing is, I do not want to rush into something and end up regretting it and then I'm stuck. Yes. Mm -hmm. So because of almost like the fear of God with that, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh no, I'm all right. Because I've seen enough situations where it's great and then seen enough where it's not great. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the fact that they rushed and they were lonely and they got into something. Mm -hmm. So that keeps me in a place where I'm like, all right, well, I'm willing for you to work this out, Lord, because obviously I pick wrong. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so mm -hmm. seven. Okay, well, let me, can I argue with you for a second? No, you can't argue with me. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the question is set up really unfair to imply that 10 is right and one is wrong. Right. Thank you. I'm thinking, well, if I answer honestly, I'm going to sound like I'm not okay and everybody else is saying they are. I don't think that's fair because there, yeah, there's, there is nothing. Let me tell you about my life. I've built a really successful business. Yes. I'm cute and I'm fun to be around and yeah. I'm a two because I'm ready. I've done the work on me. Yeah. I'm healthy as I've ever been. Yeah. And I'm a two and that's not wrong compared to being a 10. That I'm, I'm, I'm not as happy as I will be when I have a partner that makes my life more fun and we think up more things to do that are okay. fun. Okay. I am full of joy. I freaking love my life. Yeah. I'm a two, and I and that and that is not worse than being a ten. So and good. I think, it's set up, I think it. the way you set it up made it feel like ones are wrong and tens are right. It did yeah. sound like that. I, well, how when I just said number one just means you're tired of the life, you're tired of the single life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah, say I, you're not happy. I, I just said that one I'm means tired of it. You, you you don't know if you're tired of being single. I mean, I don't like it, but I don't know that I'm like. But then you're tired of it. Yeah, yeah. It just felt like the. the I'm, those, I'm not saying ones are wrong. Right. And I'm not even saying 10s are right. Right. I'm just saying on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm happy. I'm not thinking about marriage. Mm -hmm. One is, well, I'm cool, but I, I, I desire a partner. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm going to be bold and say one. Ooh. Yeah. Like, I'm dating someone right now, okay. and I'm like, yeah. Like, I, I'm in this relationship to see it move towards marriage. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, and I think, too, like, it's okay to be hopeful towards something. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think a lot of times, like for me as an Enneagram 3, I live my life being like, unless it's perfect, I won't dive in. Yeah. And that's not okay to live. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. before I was dating someone, I was single for four years because I was constantly thinking this person has to meet all these qualifications. Yeah. And it's, it's good, like, it? no, like I need to be okay with going into the process mm -hmm. and knowing that there's going to be some ups and downs. And that's the joy, that's the beauty of doing relationship with people. You that's have so to good. go through that. Absolutely. So, the two of y'all haven't said that. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. Sheesh. Um, <laughs> I'm really at a at a six. Okay. Um, like Wesley, I'm young. You yeah. know, so I'm 25 years old. Yeah. Um, have a lot of life to live. Yeah. And I'm looking to find that one to live it with. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But on the other hand, uh, I don't feel like I'm still looking for my purpose per se because honestly, I feel like I found it. I know what I want to do in life. I'm mm -hmm. I'm on that path right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just looking for someone to do it with. That's it. Nine times out of ten, my person believes the person you're going to be with, you've already met. It's just when and where you've met them in your life, that's kind of the deciding factor of how that's going to play out. What's so funny is, out of everyone saying it's a loaded question, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm a two. I would say probably like a two, maybe low end two, high end one plus. Mm -hmm. and, 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 it's, and I'm with you as well. I have joy. I love the fact that I can get up and go travel the world and go speak and do what I want to do when I want to do it. I will drop all of that to build a family. Mm -hmm. So what are we missing now that you think when we get married will be fulfilled? Is there anything that will complete, that will add to us? Man, teammate. Teammate, that's yeah, the exact word I was thinking of. Like, I'm watching wow. that uh, Michael Jordan last dance. Yes! A good teammate. <laughs> hey. So you looking for that Scotty Pippen? I wish. I wish. I need Scotty with a little dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna do some dirty work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey. That's yeah. just, I mean, to have a teammate is it, more so than just like, all this romantic stuff, it's like, can right. we build? Can mm -hmm. we like, yes. can you make me better? Because when I'm vibrating at a high frequency, yeah, I'm gonna need you up there too. And yeah. the day that I don't have it, bring me up. It's, it's a, mm -hmm. and the same for 
that person that I'm with. Like, we make each other, we literally make each other better. Self-mastery, like that's my number one focus when I wake up in the morning. When you two are there with each other, do you enjoy that person's energy? Does that person enjoy your energy? Is that person being the best version of them for you? Not for everybody else. Every time I think of a relationship, I think business partner. Ooh. Yeah. Reason being is it's so important to invest in someone who's invested in themselves. When Anthony asked, what is one thing that you think that you are missing? And everybody was like, team and having a partner. Honestly, I've got a team. I've got management. I've got people who I work with. I don't need a team. Um, if I can keep it 100, sex. Like, <laughs> the intimacy. Like, I, I feel very fulfilled in my relationships with my friends, with my family. There's an intimacy that I am waiting for that comes between a husband and a wife. And so I realize not everybody feels that way, but that's how I feel. When it comes to finances and everything, you're going to have your money and she should have hers as well. So someone who's independent, um, mm. I just, I see her as someone I'm trying to win with. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And if she's not on the path to win, because I'm dating someone right now too, and I told her, I said, if you're not trying to win, then I can't, I can't hang with you. I treat my energy just like I treat my money. Yep. So nice. so. I treat yeah, my energy going. just like <laughs> I treat my money. How you treat your money? You know I'm a money guy. You got to come correct. <laughs> That's I only us. invest in things that produce me a, oh. a greater return. I got you. Or equal or greater. So you're looking for compound interest. Yeah, so if you having a bad day and I picked up on that, yep. Hey, what's up? Hey, let's go get your favorite ice cream. Let's, let's talk about this. I'm with you with the communication. Yep. However, I'm going to throw this out there. If I ask and I'm genuinely interested in what's going on with you and you say you don't want to talk about it, it's only so many times I want to ask before the discussion is not open anymore. Don't come to me later and now you want to be an open book when I gave you the platform. Uh oh, I'm like, I got questions. Yeah. <laughs> I got questions about that. Come on, come on, questions. come on. Bring it, bring it. Have you ever been in a situation where you didn't want to talk? It just was not the okay. time. Okay, now here's that. If that's the case, say that. Communication is a, it's so effective. But I always see like it being viewed as one-sided. And I'm not saying that it is, you know, all the time, but it seems like men are actually just communicate a lot more than women. Men, women can be so indirect. Excuse me. <laughs> well, forget you then. We don't need to date. Could you date someone who makes three times your income? I mean, that just sounds like it'll end in turmoil. So, so I, then could, what's the I couldn't. I couldn't. Well, you, he said he couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs>